Lemonheads nachos, my dad's boat. Elements thrown in there too. Like yesterday we were casting out of the boat and for the sardine at the end and fucking wind is blowing in your face and you're casting out of a rickety boat, you know, standing on a little thing like this. And Trying to manage your line yeah. that's around your feet. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 throw, and then throwing <laughs> into a fucking 10, 10 or 15 in your face. <laughs> Look at that sunrise. <laughs> Blue steel. Blue steel. Zoolander. <laughs> When you're when you're straight model mode all day, you just can't turn it off. <laughs> I really like their ideas. Lights on the water good. I went back to Costa because they got sold out. Right? Costa. Buenos dias, Silvio. We're in the. In the Colombian jungle, we're going deep today. Two and a half hour boat ride one way. We're hiking into some stuff. We're getting our boats in. I mean, we're going real deep today. Uh, we got some special permission, going up a river. It's gonna get crazy. Again, going deep. We're going, we're going, uh, up around some rapids that we actually fished the other day, but we got to—it's—it's it's so dangerous. Like, look at this shoot up here. So you can see, this would be the shoot. Do we need it? This would be the shoot we would normally have to shoot up. In my opinion, we can make it. I think just you know, just gun it, whiskey throttle and just make it but they're gonna go up and around we're gonna take a hike with over a couple of decades of whitewater experience i can tell you with certainty dennis has no idea what he's talking about <laughs> this is true also <laughs> when it comes to whitewater we would never make that <laughs> you don't think we can just give it the throttle and make it our chances are essentially zero <laughs> i like those odds like indiana jones says <laughs> That little walk, I would never, I would never sacrifice anything for that little walk. That's easy. We need a little, we need a little blood flow and stretch anyway, right? Stay there. Well, the sand was on our left, and the rocks are on our right. I take the sand any day, but he said stay there. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking send it. So. Get ready. We're about to smash sand, smash a boulder, or we're gonna get through this. <laughs> Did we hit a boulder? Yeah. You blow the lower unit out? Oh, bueno? I don't think, it doesn't sound like we broke anything. It doesn't sound like we broke anything, but uh, it doesn't sound great either. It could definitely be better, I guess is the way to say it. Well, that's what happens on bigger jobs. <laughs> it's true. It's true. This is all part of it, right? Yeah, it's all part of the deal. We got we got some sort of plastic bag holding the choke open a little bit. <laughs> We've got a gas seco, line. Seco. What do you say? Yeah, back in the game. Give or take. I want to take a look at the prop. I know he's got a spare. I know he's got a spare prop on the boat, which more than likely will come into play today. So we got the. Motor's running again. Sounds like we got. Sounds like we got good connection. Sounds like we're doing well. Yeah, there's a lot of shallow rocks here, and obviously a sandbar. Sandbar to deal with. The well, river's coming down, and as you know, uh, it starts to expose things that you can't get past. So we're 
just working our way through this here. I think we should have. Our buddies went to the went to the far left. Take two. Take two. Take two. Our buddies went to the far left. Stay on it or fucking start pushing with the paddle. Yeah, in this situation, you either gotta go full sand or you gotta fucking paddle. One of the two. And right now, we maybe should be paddling because we're, we're eating up our crop every time he hits the fucking sand. And we have logs on the other, and it's it's gonna be a little gamey. came to a, a spot that had a lot of different danger aspects for the boat. Not so much for us, I wouldn't say. Danger for us that we'd be walking home, which would suck, but there was a whole bunch of boulders and a whole bunch of shallow sand, and we're still in it. We're on the giant sand flat sandbar thing, and yeah, we're laying, we're, you can see we're laying in the front of the boat. <laughs> trying to get that weight up. And what we got going on the back is a 40 horse Yamaha that's been rebuilt 14 times. We've got a plastic bag wedged into the choke so the choke holds just right. A couple of spark plugs are misfiring. You can hear the cylinders don't seem to be running good on at idle. We need to do spark plugs. A, ga oh, there we go. Yeah. a gas line into a what appears to be like a 20 gallon tank rigged from there directly into the motor, held on by some black tape and an extra filter. Bueno, we're good. Send it, boys, send it. Are we pulling these up here? No. Is he gonna run it? Gonna run it? Like, Dude, yeah. Check this out. All, these are side channels off the main river. What that? These are side channels off the main river. Which are essentially rivers in their own right, right? Because uh, they have anywhere from five to 15,000 cubic feet per second running through. But the amazing part of this whole thing isn't this. All of these are going to connect when the water level comes up. Even more amazing, this son of a bitch has the ball to send it through this thing. <laughs> this is definitely noteworthy here. Punch it. Punch it. You got to commit right there. That was crazy. Awesome. It's amazing. Like we thought that was one part, but there's actually more. Just walking our way up through this little channel. It's pretty crazy. This is awesome. Luckily you got good shoes for all this too. Luckily the key to the key the key to the Amazon is wearing good footwear. And what I highly recommend is $10 flip-flops from Walmart. Because that's what I'm wearing now. Got a lot of support. <laughs> And you know, you just hope you just hope you don't go man down. I sacrifice safety for comfort on the boat, which is as a doctor, would you say that's a good idea? I think as a human being it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> From a doctor's perspective, would you would yeah, you well, chance you that? lost me with the whole sacrificing safety thing? <laughs> Well, the good news is I took some Pepto Bismol yesterday. I'm um, being safe. So, so you got that going. For I got that going for me, in case my flip flops gave out. I will tell you the last time I was in Colombia, I had my Under Armour flip flops punched through. I lost my flip flop, and I had no other good option for boat wear, so I had to actually push it back through. I had to take a top of a soda can and rig it to where it was, I fixed it with the top of the soda can punch through where it wouldn't pull.
looks like it's in the kitchen. That's what you don't want your prop to look like. Amigo, no había una piedrita ahí. Adelante, muchacho. La hora es buena. Buena. Let's go. Quit flapping your fucking gum. We gotta roll. Come on. Come on. Hey, Jesus Christ. This is no time for talking. Oh, there so, we go. So you know the <laughs> island we eat lunch on? Yeah. From there, all the way down around the corner is all white when this water's up. When the when the river levels up, it all becomes all of this becomes white water. <laughs> all of it, un, unbroken, just white. So this Gi is, gigantic raft. If you were to bring a uh, raft down this, it would be way worse than Tibet. You think? Or you think? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. You just know what it says. <clears throat> It, de it definitely, consider considering, oh. oh, that's a rock. That's a rock. That was another one. We're getting swept towards these rocks. See, we know. Yeah, we felt it. It's got to be, can't be broadside here. Um, well, should we get in the front? No, you should get built. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> This is this is adventure. Seriously, we've hit assuming we get home. Yeah, yeah. Well, the good news is it's all it's all down going home. We could float if we had to. Good news. We've we've hit We've hit three rocks and a lot of sand already and we're only an hour into our day. in the village, lives in the village right down from here. I have every bit of confidence in him. He knows this river inside and out. The challenge with rivers, especially this one, is as it drops, it changes dramatically like all rivers do, right? New currents, new seams, new rocks become exposed, and that's what we're dealing with now. No me avisa nada totalmente, pues este siempre usted llega acá, usted, no trae, avisamos toda la comunidad, pues ya saben, ¿sí? Ajá, sí, sí. porque él no, porque él no, la verdad no tenemos okay, entonces eso. yo ahorita me comunico con él porque él, él mm. no él van a hacer el campamento, mm -hmm. donde todo eso, mm -hmm. a eso vinimos, mm -hmm. pero ese huevo no lo avisa usted. Hablen bien claro cuando ustedes se pueden reunir y él va a venir, por eso vinimos, aquí traigo la comisión para eso. Y vamos a ir allá adentro y nosotros... Oh, sí. Give the black magic. Yeah. Nosotros vamos a llegar a, a Casabe, sino que ya yo pensé que ustedes ya sabían. No, la verdad no sabíamos hasta ahora, hasta ahora por eso. Push us off, watch. Explícale a los manes, ¿cuándo viene Diego? ¿Cuándo va a venir? Ya, ¿no? Hasta que, o sea, yo entré ah, ayer todavía ya, en, en Agua Sur, yo avisé al capitán de Agua Sur todavía. Y... Ah, eh, nosotros queremos ir a Casabe, ¿no hay problema? No, ahí no viene. Ah, Hola. Sí, sí, That's that's who we spoke to. He's gonna talk to a man about his anaconda right now. Yeah. Yeah. So Diego's the guy, and I didn't catch the part about tomorrow. Yeah, it says, it says, it says today and mañana. You're right. right. So today seems okay, and we hope tomorrow's okay as well. You're going into protected lands, you need permission. And that permission can range from a simple sure go ahead to paperwork and everything else. This is, these are tribal lands, so it, it's a pretty big deal. And if we were here without permission, I, I think it could end up potentially dangerous for us. These lands are fiercely guarded. Crocs has def definitely cornered the market in the uh, no, Colombian Amazon. One thing we have uh, certainly figured out a pattern here. It's all <coughs> fishing's all about developing patterns and figuring out what's going on. And the pattern here in in Colombia is 100% Crocs or imitation Crocs. Everybody wears them, which seems somewhat dangerous in my opinion. With the anacondas and the sticks and the things that are here, crocodiles. Yeah, I would, they are maybe, comfortable, they are waterproof and durable. And sexy. And sexy. They, look, they do the look sex good. appeal is good. They do look good. When you're here, you got to be thinking style. 
you got you and function. It. If they had a steel toe, I figured they'd be better. But. It's definitely fashion over function in the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> What I, what I feel is going on there with my Spanish is that he said something, 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 no problema. Which tells me that we've got no problem. It would tell you that. <laughs> you agree? You agree with it? No. no. <laughs> what does no problema mean then? That part's fine. There was a whole lot of conversation before that though. But it ends with no problema. Which tells me we've got no problema. Glass half. Here. They just landed a giant already, which tells yeah. tells me I'm all, it's already worth it to some degree. Just a monster, monster ride in here. We are freaking in the middle of nowhere, and you know I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of talk through my day, what I'm thinking while I'm fishing. So I know I know for a fact that a lot of these big peacocks. Oops, sorry, buddy. Uh, I love wood choppers. All my biggest peacocks have come on wood choppers, so I'm gonna start my day throwing the timber turtle, my big wood chopper style lure. Um, I'm gonna start with that. And one of the things I was seeing when I was doing it last time is those big fish would miss it, just like all top water. They blow up, they miss it, they blow up on it again, miss it, and then they just sit underneath it. So I got an idea to throw a hookup bait at them. If they miss it once or twice, instead of luring the fish to the boat to see us. I'm gonna leave my top water there and I'm gonna try to throw on this in behind it. Or the fly rod's gonna be ready or have Jason if he's in the right position to make a cast right behind you know right behind the top water lure. So that's that on the conventional side and then I got a big nasty streamer rigged up. I'm gonna throw the fly a little today. I want to catch some on the fly. Dragging the boat again. We thought we got to our spot. Can I make a cast? I'm, I'm itching to make a cast. I know that. Oh, way oh, cooler oh, water. I just saw a stingray. Wow, this water is significantly cooler. Just make a This is where we get eaten by a big snake. <laughs> Flip flop out. I got this. Flip flop gone. Are we in the boat now? <laughs> He's up to his fucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaving us. <laughs> to fill you in what's been going on, we have two boats here. To get to the camp in the first place, it was a four or five hour drive across the jungle plains. And then we take a boat an hour to the camp. And now we're three hour boat ride plus to, plus to this spot. And there's two boats here. Me, cameraman, Dennis, Jason, and our other boat. Two other fisher guys in there. So we're out, we're deep. There's no one to save us if shit went south. And we're in a pretty good spot. He has his Walmart. My, my cheap reef flip flops blew completely apart. First step, blew them out. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Thank you, Reef, for making a quality product I can rely on in the jungle. 
They didn't say jungle raided on them. No, you're right, they didn't. Dude, look at this shit. We're this goes back to the importance of gear you can trust when you do doing gear on an adventure. Yeah, when you're doing adventures. Everything from rods and reels to line, wire, clothing, sunglasses. Everything counts, right? Oh shit, something just touched me. I'd get a strongly recommend at some point we'll put our bodies in this to cool our body temperatures. Well, it's pretty comfortable, huh? Dude, do you see how many fish there are here? We need that GoPro with the thing going. Yeah, that shit up. Que tipo de pescado? Boca chico? Boca chico? Pescado? So far away from anything, it's crazy. That's Quality weird. gear is key. So I recommend reef flip flops. <laughs> and that's why we brought our bottom tracking. to be quiet. I said, very important that we're, we're quiet in here. We're sneaking up on them. But when something hits my lure on top, when a, a big fish blows up, I lose my mind. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be quiet when something blows it up. ¿Cuántos metros? Posible tres. Mucho. It says it's deep. It's deep here. Deeper than anything we've fished so far, I think. But the water is, is way more clear than what we've been fishing. And it's perfectly calm out. So I feel like... I feel like that's conducive to top water. Even if it's a, a couple feet deeper, I feel like it's conducive to the top water grab. Oh, what I'm looking for when I roll in here, I know I'm gonna be running top water for a little bit. So I'm looking for structure on the banks. Um, and then more importantly, from learning from these guys here, we don't, it's kind of opposite of what you think. When you come here, you think you're going to be pounding the wood all day. You think you're going to be, you know, thrown into the, the jungle all day. But the big fish, the really big peacocks are out here in the middle of these lagoons. And there's all these little sandbars that run in the middle um, with some logs and structure on them. Um, but they're marked. There's some little, you know, there's little sticks sticking up. And so I'm looking for, I'm looking for anything different out in the middle here. Um, there's a little stick back there, which means there's a sandbar. I love the I love the backlash. That's my number one thing. And uh, you anyway, know, that's kind of how I'm dissecting it. I'm 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 burying my speed the way I bring this in. I'm giving it some big big long pulls, making it splash. Then on top of that, I'm giving it some really fast erratic action. But I'm trying to get maximum distance on my cast. I'm trying to cover as much water as possible. So long cast away from the boat if they are these guys say we got to be quiet because they're boat shy or sound shy which that doesn't make sense but they're obviously lateral line feeders so they're, they're very sensitive to vibrations and noises so i'm trying to get way away from the boat as far as i can and then vary up my speed i don't know that the variation matters i think just getting getting to a big fish just finally rolling over top of one of those big fish that are eating is key I think is what the deal is
you see him? Yeah. Let's get him out of the trees. See, get him out of the trees. see, see. shut it up. I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. You guys. <laughs> get him out of the tree. <laughs> Keep the pressure on him. Shut up. <laughs> Don't pull it. Don't put the hook out. I'm gonna fucking strangle you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the pressure on him. Get that rod tip up. Dennis, we talked about it. The trick is not only hooking the fish, but landing the fish. <laughs> I think that's a, not a big one. It's not a big one. But it's a fish. But it's a fish. You know what that means. Time to crack another beer. <laughs> Time to crack another beer is absolutely right. Time to crack another joke about it. Look at Grande in there somewhere. I think we should work a little side of this. I need Okay? Right here? All the way up. Dude, I saw, it's crazy. I zoomed in, I saw like a wave and I was like, oh, what the fuck? Did you get this? Actually, this is actually a bigger fish than we thought. Yeah, it? yeah, yep. it looks big. No, Dennis, get out of the boat. This is too big for you to be here. Okay, let me jump in. You get a hot ticket. Good one. Yeah, that's 10 pounds. That's a grande. That's the same one that hit this one? Uh, similar. Did this? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Similar, dude, dude. <laughs> you want some assistance, Yeah, well, I want a good photo. Oh, my God. Yes, nice fish, buddy. <clears throat> Ooh. She is beautiful. Textbook team fishing. Had that big blow up. That fish blew up on my top water twice. Didn't commit, didn't eat it. Jason went back in with the fly. Next. What, what makes you like this bank? What makes you think this bank is hot? It's the outflow. It's close to the main river. So you have, you have current coming down, which brings food, and you have the main river right there. So you're gonna have fish going back and forth. Good shelter here. Mm -hmm. So this big fish like shelter? Do we know this? I don't, I don't know. I'm just asking. Jump at where we started to out to me. Yeah, he says. Buen lugar. He says stay away from. Back and forth, back and forth. See, 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 I'm not. I'm just trying to lean a little. See. It's bueno. See. Sí. So this one we could probably do everything in the water. <laughs> There's ten other pounder. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna be great. That's beautiful too. That's gonna be great on the We'll do a quick shot, and then we're gonna dump it back. Yeah, I'm gonna do it because just because he's bigger. Okay. Look at my dick is hauled. You. <laughs> One second to get a video. Ready? Grande. Grande. Yeah. Grande. Yep, this one's big. Oh, wow. Careful Keep him out of the tree. Put the pressure on him. This one's big. Yeah, put the pressure on him. He's going to be the tree. 
That's a big fish. He's in the trees. No, he's not. No. Okay. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Trying to get. La bota, la bota. Huh? la bota, yeah. No? Oh, 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 it's grande. Muy grande. <laughs> I'm trying to get him away from the trees as best I can, but we are in a stalemate here. I got, I got him a few feet off the trees. Dennis, thank you for your help. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, okay. Retying. We got him off. We got him off the trees now. All right, get him out in the open. Thanks. Oh, 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 it was okay. That's all you can do is hold. Right? I wasn't pulling too hard. I was holding, trying to keep him out of the trees. It's all good. That's all you can do. Oh, God, that's crazy. That was a big fish. Wow. Oh, that's a big Wow, let's check that hook actually. That was definitely the that was definitely the biggest fish I have hooked uh, in Colombia this round for sure. Dude, it freaking just was pulling us around, pulling the boat. Yeah, no, it, it was big. It was maxed out my nine weight for sure. Dude, look at how he ate that thing. So, one of the things, one of the things I just switched to, he uh, he was talking about. It's really, it's really deep in here, a lot deeper than we've been fishing. So I went to something that's going to go down about four feet, and uh, just got hit immediately. First, first cast. Do some dental work on this poor bastard. Hmm? Mm. Muy poco me gusta. God, no le gusta? Sí, 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 claro. 